Moving into college dorms or college housing of any kind and making it feel like home could be super hard. And that's why I wanted to make this video just to show you guys what I did to make my dorm feel like home and feel like a place where I can really be productive each day. The weirdest part of my setup that I had to change from high school to college was not actually using a PC. I have a laptop here that's a Razor Blade 16, which is basically just like a compact version of a, of a PC. It's got all the stuff. It's actually better than my PC at home. It's got a 4070 in it and stuff. And I can show you the specs if you guys want, and I can comment them down below if you guys are trying to do something similar for your college dorm. But just to save space and not make the room so hot, that's mainly the reason I wanted to have it. This, the second reason it's super nice to have this here is because I can keep my setup at home so that I can do work wherever I go, which makes it even easier when I go home to still work on my homework or work on videos or whatever I want to do. Even though you can tell I'm super committed to having a setup here and at home, which is super nice for everything and everything, I still do most of my work on my MacBook, which is kind of funny because that's the, probably the computer I've had the longest, it's the least nice of the three, but it's just a lot easier to code and do all my homework assignments for my CS classes on a MacBook just because I'm used to the Mac OS over the Windows, to be honest. I got super lucky to get the window side of the room, which is great for the view and everything, but it's also super great for having these shelves behind me because they're just little shelves from Ikea and stuff, but since my closet is full to like the max with clothes and shoes and everything like that, it's super nice to have something that can hold just random like utility things that would be scattered around your house if you didn't live in a five by five little room. Though this dorm tour is super tiny it's been super convenient this year and the last piece I wanted to show you was my bed area it's kind of I call it my bed area instead of my bed is because it has storage underneath it's got a bunch of stuff underneath behind the dressers that are also there but then it's also like my scooter parking lot which you can see behind me I have currently charging because I had to walk it back from class this morning and then you've got the decorations all around it and stuff I've I got a little shelf up there that I really like using just to like if I'm trying to write something down or I want to have something next to me it's, it's super nice to have all of that right next to my bed so I don't have to get up in the middle of the night and then there's just decorations all around to just try to make my room feel a little bit more like somewhere that I like to live rather than just a little hotel room or something like that. The last part of the room that I wanted to show is probably my favorite part. It's where all the food is. Me and my roommate share a middle section even though he doesn't really eat any of the food. It's just full of Costco deliveries from my parents that I've lucky enough that they send me every few weeks or every month or so, which is just like keeps me full all the time, which is super nice. With that being said, thanks for watching and subscribe if you enjoyed. Hopefully we can hit 400 subscribers soon.